Hello, my name is David Shepard. Uh, I'm going to show you how to properly install and how to remove a humbucker cover. Here I have a one of our Mojo Tone nickel silver humbucker covers. It's nickel plated, uh, standard PAF spacing. Uh, there's different spacings on different humbuckers. Uh, this particular humbucker has the 49.2 millimeter spacing. You measure this from the center of the outside pole to the center of the other outside pole. Uh, it, it's, it can be hard to tell the difference between 49.2 and 50 millimeters, so if you're unsure, ask the manufacturer of the pickup. First thing I'm going to do is scratch the inside of the humbucker cover right where I need to make my solder connections to the back of the pickup or the base plate of the pickup. I just have a little Dremel tool connection or, or bit here that has the diamond grid on it. Uh, you can use anything, whatever will scratch up and remove some plating so you get a good connection. So I'm just going to go inside here and rough it up. So you can see I just removed enough of the plating there to make a good solid flow with the solder. And then I'll do the same to the other side, right in the middle there up against the edge. Nobody's going to see this, so if you make a bad scratch, it doesn't matter. I have a block of beeswax here. You can use a candle in your house if you want, anything that's wax. And I'm just going to take a screwdriver or whatever you have and just scrape pieces of uh, wax inside the cover. You don't need to put a ton of wax in there, uh, just a fair amount. Because what you want to do is reduce the air space you have between the uh, slugs, everything here, and the cover so you don't get any kind of squealing or microphonic feedback. So I took a piece of masking tape, already pre-cut it to size, and I'm just going to tape over top of these slugs so that they don't contact the metal cover and cause any kind of you know, unwanted feedback or anything else. A lot of humbuckers that don't have covers to begin with, they'll take tape and they'll wrap the entire coil also covering right where you need to solder. Sometimes the cover won't even fit over the tape, so you may, have, you may find yourself having to remove some tape. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to just simply cut the tape away from the side so that I can make a good connection. Be careful when you're cutting not to angle the blade right into the coil. I'm cutting right down on the base plate. I'm not cutting into the coil. Uh, you could seriously destroy the pickup just by doing that if you're not very careful. You can see I've got the full exposure on both sides so that I can make my connection. I'm going to loosen up the wire so that this is out of the way. Number one trick to installing a cover, always back your pole piece screws out. This is what lines the cover up. It's what makes the cover pop into place. So I'll go ahead and I'll take the screws get a screwdriver that fits perfect. So you can see I back the screws out just enough so that they're going to line up the holes on the cover. The, when I pop the cover on, the screws will pop through the holes and the cover will be perfectly lined up. I've got a clamp here. This is just a quick grip clamp that works really well for this type of stuff. You can use a small C clamp. You don't even have to use a clamp. The clamp's just going to really give the pressure I need to seat the cover onto the pickup as tight as possible. Whatever you use, you don't want it to scratch the cover. Uh, so try to put some padding or wood or cork or whatever on what you're using. I have this cloth here, which is just you know, a basic cloth that won't scratch anything. I'm angling the cover so that the wax sort of melts back into the corner here and doesn't leak out through the holes in the cover. And I'm going to heat the whole cover up with a heat gun. Uh, you could do it with a uh, a double boiler, you know, if you're, if you're somebody that is a pickup manufacturer, you're going to just take the whole pickup after the cover is on and wax pot it. For people that don't have that, this is a quick way for techs and do-it-yourself people to uh, install humbucker covers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the wax and the cover and heat the whole thing up slowly. Well, that'll work. I'm going to stay working kind of quick here and pop it in. Hold it with the cloth so you don't 
earn yourself and you hear it click into place. Then I'll go ahead and clamp it and look on the other side. You can see that the pole piece screws came through nice. Uh, make sure that the, that the pickup didn't go in there crooked. It's straight. Everything's ready to solder now. I'm going to do that right on the inside of the cover and the bottom of the base plate. It's really important that you have a good hot soldering iron. Uh, the 25 watt, 30 watt stuff is just going to burn your pickup. Uh, you're going to melt plastic before you ever get the solder to stick. Uh, this is a 50 watt iron. Uh, plenty of heat to uh, really make this happen. And I, I'm going to go in here and get right up against the inside of the cover and go ahead and flow, flow solder, get it to stick to the cover. So I'm flowing the solder in against the cover and I'm watching it as it flows out onto the bottom of the base plate. And the second it starts to flow out onto the bottom of the base plate, you're done. You've made your connection. It should be nice and shiny. It should be a pretty decent bead, just like that. Too little, you know, may, may be unstable. You want to get the cover on there secure. So I'm going to flip it around and do the other side. I don't need the clamp on there now. And we're done. We have made the connections. The cover's on. Should be able to install it with absolutely no microphonic feedback issues. And then you want to go back after you're finished, clean the wax off, screw the uh, pole pieces back down. Be careful not to slip or you could scratch your brand new cover. Okay, here we have a, another humbucker uh, that I'm going to remove the cover from. I'm going to show you how to properly do that with, with just a, uh, a regular razor blade and the soldering iron. I'm going to get between the cover and the base plate after I heat the solder up and it'll just cleanly break the solder connection and the cover will pop right off. Before you start taking the cover off, use a clamp or something to hold it into place so that you don't have any trouble. And then take your blade, go ahead and put it into place right between the cover and the base plate. Heat the connection up and the razor blade pops right down between the solder connection and the plate. And then I'll do the same thing to the other side. It just pops right off. Then you see you have some wax that was underneath. You may want to heat that up a little bit and wipe it clean, but after all, the cover's removed and it's ready for a new cover or no cover at all.